could also slide between the shapes if I wanted to. Again, we know A minor, C major, I've got the same notes in. So if I'm on that 5, 7, we know that the ninth fret of the G, which is an E note, was in that C major shape. So if I want to, when I'm playing that A minor, I could slide to that E note on the ninth fret of the G, and now I'm in that C major shape and we can run from there. Slide back if we want. So start to look at your scales in that way. They don't have to just be one note after the other. Just take little areas of those scales. You've got all those notes to play with, but you've got the shape that you can work with that encases everything. Now just get creative with it. Be free, experiment, and enjoy that process. And believe that you definitely can create something.